So welcome to the double year member engagement webinar. I'm going to share some secrets with which you'll be able to double your member engagement at your association in less than one hour per week of marketing. We have some uh, cool ideas which will probably help you. So I'm Farhad Khan. I'm from a company called Gripe, and we work with professional associations to help grow their membership with digital marketing. Uh, we have been working with professional associations for some time now, and we just want to share some of the experiences that we had and some of the ideas that we came up with. So before we start the webinar, I want to ask you, I want to hear from you, what is the biggest challenge that your organization is facing right now to grow your membership? What is the, what is the one uh, biggest challenge that you are facing right now to grow your membership? Uh, do you mind maybe like writing, um, writing on chat? Like what is the biggest challenge you're facing? I'm assuming that most of you are probably in a member development role or in a leadership role at your organization. So, oh, renewals, Suzanne, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we hear this all the time. We hear this all the time that like not all of your members renew at the end of the year. Anyone else, any other thoughts, any other problems that you're facing right now? Okay, you do annual renewals. So Carla is saying burnout. Carla, can you share a little more? Um, what do you mean by burnout? Is it burnout by the team members or the members? Oh, there you go. They're also volunteers. Right, right. So they have a lot on their plate. All right. Uh, we have uh, a number of other people in the room as well. If you, if you mind like weighing in a little. So we have Alex, Alexandra, Hallie, Christelle, Marketa, what is the biggest challenge that your organization is facing in growing your membership? All right, okay, so I think we will continue. Um, and um, during the webinar, I want to make it slightly more interactive so that um, uh, if you have ideas, if you have thoughts, please uh, feel free to type on chat. And I'm going to ask you some questions in the middle as well. So uh, please feel free to participate. So, um, as we go through the webinar, I want you to think through the, the different ideas that I will go through. And um, as, you, as you think about the ideas, I want you to like think of one thing that you will take action on uh, at the end of this webinar. So there will be many, many ideas that I'm going to share in the webinar. Um, but while I do that, just like think and uh, see which ones work for you, which ones don't. I'm pretty sure not all the ideas will work for you, but many will, many will. And I, I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to have one key takeaway at the end of uh, this webinar, something that you can directly implement at your organization. So please, please think about it. And then uh, if you have um, a notepad in front of you, please take notes. Uh, at the end of the webinar, I'm going to ask you, what is the one thing that you want to do at the end of the webinar that you can actually implement at your organization? All right. So I'm going to do a quick poll uh, to start with. Um, so we want to know like which social media platform you are most active on right now. So if you don't mind just um, participating in that poll, just let us know which uh, which platform you are most active on. Why I'll tell you, uh, this is because we're trying to build a community, uh, a community of our um, association execs, and we want to find out like where to build that community. So if you if you let us know where you're most active, then uh, we will probably choose that that platform for building the community. And we are seeing some diverse results, some on Facebook, many on Facebook, actually, many on Facebook, some on LinkedIn, some on Twitter. Okay, that's great. That's great. Alrighty. And if you stick to the end of this webinar, uh, there's a bonus at the end, the last slide of the webinar, there's a bonus. There's a trick that we're going to share that uh, that we think you'll be able to implement right away, you know, like for your organization. So, so stay till the end. Uh, there is a bonus for you at the end. All right. So what are some of the problems that we face in associations nowadays? Uh, one, one of them, like the major one that we are addressing today is your members are not fully engaged with your as association. And this happens for a number of reasons. There are many, many reasons why members are not fully engaged with your association. Uh, what are others? Um, sometimes we hear that the association executives or team members don't actually have a lot of time or money to invest in marketing. Because associations are all nonprofits, and as nonprofits, we run on a very lean budget. And as a as a business, as a small business ourselves, like we also run on a very lean budget. So, 
we understand exactly what you go through. It's it's difficult to find the time and money to invest in marketing. And as, as a result, marketing does not happen all the time or it's not um, as much marketing as you'd like to do, right? And, and the results uh, suffer, all right? And then there's also um, um, some challenges for members from the member side. Uh, many members don't actually use all the benefits that you offer. Your organization has been around for quite some time. Like some, some organizations that we work with, some associations, they've been around like for over 70 years. Uh, and 70 years is a very long time, very long time. And over the years, they have actually built a, um, a long list of benefits for their members. But we often find that not all the benefits are actually used by the members. And if you look at um, a random member, he will probably not use 90% uh, of the benefits that an association has to offer which is a challenge, right? Because you are spending so much time and effort in building the benefits for the members and the members end up not using it. Okay. Now, if your members are not using all the benefits, what happens? What happens? Then uh, your members don't actually see the value in paying for the membership. And just like uh, Suzanne said at the very beginning, that renewals is a big challenge, right? So why do people not want to renew at the end of the year? One of the key reasons is that members are not engaged. They don't use all the benefits and they don't really see the value in paying for the membership at that point, at the end of the year. And we're going to share some ideas that will uh, uh, that will try and like solve some of these problems that you have right now. I'll start with the biggest secret sauce that we have. So the secret sauce that we have in marketing is uh, spend significantly more time planning your marketing strategy than actually doing it. Right. So what what this means is that um, whenever we work on any marketing strategy or any marketing like uh, any like any marketing activity right the tendency for people is to just like jump right in then um, some people think that we think that uh, only if we could do more uh, twitter activity if we do if we did more tweets you know like we will probably like, get more results or we post more on facebook or we or we do something else some activity and we end up jumping into the execution of the marketing uh, without spending enough time in the strategy itself so the one secret sauce that I want to share with you today is that well, we want to invest significantly more time in planning the marketing, in, in planning the strategy, even before we start the marketing activity itself. So what is a good balance between, um, plan between planning and then actually executing? So um, in, in general, what I find is that um, any, any time, at any time, like a strategy or execution cannot, um, cannot do anything by themselves. So you can strategize all along, right? You can do all the strategy you want, but if you don't execute, then nothing is going to happen, right? And on the, other, on the other side, if you do not strategize at all, and if you just execute, execute, and execute, right? So th that, again, is a problem because you're executing, but you, you're not following a good strategy. So your execution may not actually give you good results. So the way I like to think is that like, there has to be a very good balance between strategy and execution, like almost like a 50-50 balance. The amount of time you spend thinking about the campaigns should be almost the same as uh, the amount of time you're spending in executing. So um, we, you should start with a very solid strategy at the very beginning, spend dedicated time to actually plan at first. Then we should, from the strategy, from the plan, we should go off and then execute. Then when we're executing, we will see that some things are, some things are working well, some things are not, right? So we have to have a way to like measure. From there, we're going to get some input uh, on like how the execution is working, bring it back, strategize again and then execute again so there has to be a very good balance between uh, between strategy and execution and you have to do both at the same time you have to be able to do both at the same time now i, I want to ask you one more time uh, right now most of you are probably association executives right so you, your organization has uh, many benefits that you have right now for your members what is the one benefit that you want to promote to your members can you think of one? You don't have to like type on chat, but I, I want you to like, just like uh, take a mental note that what is the one benefit that you want to promote to your members? If you have time and money, like, like which benefit do you actually want to promote? So think about it just for a bit. Now, the next quick mental exercise, if you were the member of your association, if you are the member of that association, then how would you actually best use that benefit? 
So put yourselves in your members' shoe. If you are if you were a member of your association, then how would you best use that benefit? Now, this is again a mental note. So just think about this and uh, later on, write down the steps. Write down like what are the different steps that you will be taking to use that benefit if you were a member. All right. And we are going to use this later on in our marketing. Okay. I'm going to give you a quick example of what I mean by this. What I mean by writing down the steps and um, how to use a benefit. I am actually a member of an association of technology CEOs. And in that association, this association is actually very active, very active. They're doing really well, making a lot of money and they're delivering a lot of value for the members as well. So as you can tell, all the, all the members are CEOs. So there's a very good peer group there as well. Now, one of, one of the most interesting benefits that they have at that association is uh, if you join them, then you get to work with an accountability partner. So I, I wrote down the benefit on the slides at the bottom. Uh, so one benefit that I get as being part of that association is I get an accountability partner. Now, what is that? So uh, when we joined that association at the very beginning, um, we, we went through a process where they introduced the association to us, like what are the different like benefits that we can use. And they hooked me up with an accountability partner. So this is another CEO of another technology company. And uh, what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to like chat with him on Slack and uh, set some goals for myself for the next one week. What am I going to do for my business uh, for the next one week? And I, I had to actually tell him that, you know what, like these are the some, these are some of the things that I am going to do for the business for the next one week. And, um, and he did the same. He had to share the same with me. So what he was going to do for his business in the next one week. And uh, we, we had like a call every week. And at the end of the week, we, we would actually talk about some of the things that, that we did, some, uh, some, di some we did not do, right? And we could brainstorm. We could brainstorm and we were able to uh, really generate new ideas and we could benefit from each other's feedback. So this is an example of a, of, of a benefit uh, from that association that I joined. And right at the very beginning, they actually gave us a guideline that, hey, you know what, uh, from this group of people, find one person who, who you potentially want to partner with. He will be your accountability partner reach out to him, network, you know, see he wants to work with you. And then over the next couple of days, do this, this, and this, right? So write down your goals for the, like business goals for the quarter, write down what are the things that you want to do for this week, what you want to do for one month, right? And share that with your partner, he will do the same with you. So they gave us a very clear guideline of how to access this one benefit. And um, what is the most surprising is that um, you'll find that the organization, the association itself, it's, it's not costing them anything whatsoever to provide this benefit to us. It's not costing them anything, not even a single dime, right? They just paired one member with another member and they're calling it accountability partners. And the only investment that they had to do is they had to like tell us at the very beginning that this is how you access and this is how you use this benefit if you're part of this association. So I wanted to just give you an example of like how to uh, market a benefit that you have to your members, right? So all they had to do is just share that at the beginning. And uh, once I was hooked up with the partner, like, like uh, we just took it away, right? And we're, we're having a call every single week to, to brainstorm and uh, come up with new ideas right now. Okay, so when it comes to marketing, uh many of us think that marketing is more about activity right so it's it's more about uh, how many how many emails you're sending how many posts you're doing on social media or how many uh tweets that you're sending out so and then we get so hooked on that activity right that the bigger pictures the bigger goal that we have uh, actually gets lost uh, very often and uh, you are not the only one i hear this from many many people and sometimes we have this problem as well that we are so focused on the activity that we lose the big picture so the one thing that i want you to do is that when you're thinking about marketing uh, don't focus on the activity too much uh, think about the campaign so start thinking about the campaign first so what is the overall campaign that you're trying to build uh, who the who the target audience is and what are you trying to get out of it and when you have the whole campaign kind of like planned, then uh, drill down into the activities and find out what activity, uh, what day-to-day -day you have to do to actually make it happen.